Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is your weekly astrology update for the week starting the 12th of March. This week we have a new moon. Yeah, baby, it's all about a fresh, brand spanking new start. Although I have to say, at the beginning of the week, Venus is having a bit of fisticuffs with Sirius Saturn. So keep your cool. Here's your weekly astrology. Gemini, how are you doing? Now this week initially you might find yourself in a power struggle with a group of people. My best advice to you would be to love bomb them. Don't argue, they're stubborn, but you, you can use your effervescent charm to move through the situation without feeling bogged down. But definitely it, there's kind of a power issue with somebody maybe t- trying to take control of you, of a situation or a group. And... Uh, don't fall into the trap of responding in a negative way we also have on the same day the sun trying jupiter which should help you and you have a real boost from the universe when it comes to your career you're paying attention to the details and it's not necessarily something you always do because sometimes you can skate over things because you see the bigger picture but this week really knuckle down and have a look at what's going on on a minute level as well as a universal and huge level because there could be a breakthrough connected to your work and certainly you should be feeling more confident than usual especially as the new moon on the 17th is in your career zone it's a fabulous opportunity to move through and move on to a deeper level you're able to let go of the past you may be closing the door on one chapter of your career or your sense of standing in the world and you're ready to move on it might not happen this week but certainly the seeds are being sown And you're like, yes, I can see a new path in front of me. And it's about having that confidence, which thankfully the Sun and Jupiter are giving you. We also have Mars shifting signs and taking you deep, deep down into your subconscious, into the unconscious realms where maybe you have fears lurking. It's an opportunity for you to come into your power and to embrace your sexuality, to embrace your strength. Avoid feelings like jealousy, obsession, compulsion, or, you know, deliberate power struggles. You might be feeling a little bit kinky. There's a whole kind of deep stuff that's rising to the surface. But the key word is not to want revenge on anyone or all of that stuff. When Mars is in the eighth, it can get a bit tricky because it's like we're more easily wounded and we're also able to see the weakness in others. Use Mars there to come into your power, to face your shadows, to embrace your sexuality, and all should be well. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon.